Show me what's going on, man. It's 47 years. Well, John, check this out, bro. Something just came to my mind. I'm just going to say my two pieces about it. Listen, John. Monogamy, listen. Monogamy. Let me show how monogamy looks to other groups of people, gentlemen. Monogamy, truthfully, gentlemen, is a symbol of weakness. Monogamy, I'll tell you gentlemen right now, make it quick, quick, plain and simple. Monogamy is a symbol of weakness, gentlemen. It's a symbol of weakness. You guys keep calling yourselves king. Why? King this, king, 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 whatever. And you sitting there with that one woman? Gentlemen, you only fooling yourself, bro. There's not, what, what king has one wife? That's why I say monogamy is a symbol of weakness. If you want to show yourself to be strong, gentlemen, you don't have no one woman. Because everybody knows the, the mindset of how these females think. When these females get with you, gentlemen, Nine times out of ten, her mindset is going to be to control the situation. Especially here in the United States, gentlemen. When you get a lot of these women, especially that comes from the so-called American black community, to hell, even white girls, so-called so -called white girls, but Latinas that are born here. They didn't come from somewhere else. They were born here. And all they know is the so-called the American way. Gentlemen, nine times out of ten, these women get with you and her mindset is to control you. That's why I tell you gentlemen all the time, listen, gentlemen, just listen. These American women, these Americanized women, if she, if that female is not with her particular group of people, if she's, if like she's just out here free, free and willy-nilly, gentlemen, that's, 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 she's the worst case scenario, bro. That type of woman is worst case scenario. And when you deal with these women, mindset is to control you, control the situation. This is what these women always say. Like, the, the thing is, you gentlemen, you look at videos all the time. Like, I just seen one cat talk about something. Oh, he, he was pranking his so-called pregnant uh, wife or fiance. Oh, I was pranking my wife and this, that, and the third, right? He was pranking her, right? Sent her a text message like, hey, listen, uh, I just seen it just now. I forgot what buddy name. Him and his wife is pregnant, right? So he sends her a text message saying that, hey, listen, somebody's flirting, flirting with me at the uh, at, at the concierge desk or at the front desk or something like that, right? First thing she go do, she runs out there, right? Right? Oh, I'm just, oh, yeah, she runs out there. Oh, tell her he belongs to me. See, gentlemen, they tell, see, listen, they tell you what they, what, what, who you are to them, who and what you are to them. She ran out there to go front old girl to tell her that he belongs to me. And you gentlemen are not thinking. You're not thinking, gentlemen. You're not thinking. The female, he, listen. He played a prank on her. I'm going to say it again. He played a prank on her and told her that somebody was flirting with him. Just flirting, gentlemen. Just flirting. Regular old flirting with him. This female, yes, of course, you know, she was an ABW or she was mixed or biracial, whatever you want to call it, right? She goes, remember, she's like eight, nine months pregnant. They were like at the slot, uh, I think they were like in Vegas or Jersey or wherever they were. They were, in, in, you know, playing slots. She was playing slots. She was sitting down. She gets up, eight, nine months pregnant. It was about to run to this female and to tell the female that he belongs to me. And you gentlemen don't see what the hell is going on right now? You gentlemen, and people just laugh like, oh, that's funny. Ha ha ha. No, gentlemen. That man belongs to her. This is why I say monogamy is trash. Gentlemen, you, when you're in monogamous relationships, especially here in the so-called West, or United States, whatever, you belong to the female. She doesn't belong to you, bro.
that female got up, belly and all, and was about to run to that other female to tell her that he's my property. That's what she meant. He belongs to me, he's my property. But you gentlemen just think, we just think it's always oh, just cute. Oh, it's just cute, haha, it's funny. No, it's not funny. Oh, he put this baby in me, da 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 So once again, he's already trapped me, he don't even know it. She just told on herself, bro. She just told on herself. But you gentlemen getting getting these monogamous relationships and getting married and monogamy, think you falling in love and all this other stuff. Listen, these women have a freaking plan for you fellas. You guys are not catching on. These women have a plan. They've been executing this to, to get you knocked up so she can bind you, bro. These women don't want to be no wife. They don't want to be, they don't want to be committed to you. See, they, man, you tell me, man. You gentlemen haven't caught on. I just seen that. I'm like, wow, bro. This female belly and all was about to get up and run to this female and tell her that he belongs to me. And we sat and we sat and people sitting there laughing. Bro, it's not funny. That female's dead ass serious. This is no, this is not reciprocity. This is not uh, equality. He belongs to me. That is my property. But you gentlemen are not thinking like that. You really think you get with the, you get in monogamous relationship with these females? Oh, it's 50-50 and equal, equal and reciprocity and we're in love. These women are not thinking like that, gentlemen. They're not thinking like that, bro. You belong to her. Why do you think it's so hard for these women to break up with your ass, bro? Because you're her property. Oh, she took my last name. That don't mean nothing, dude. Because you took her last name. Okay. She don't work for you. You don't pay her bills. She pays her own bills. Gentlemen, you don't, you're not in a relationship, dude. You're her property. And she has the uh and she has the United States government to back her up. You're in a lose-lose situation, gentlemen, when you get in these monogamous relationships with these with these Americanized women, dude. You gentlemen ever a, a female ever flirt with you and this this female out here just she 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 bugging the hell out because you getting flirted. Because why? Because you belong to her. You're her property. You gentlemen don't you don't get this? Are you gentlemen not thinking? Once again, somebody can say something to her. You ain't tripping. It is what it is. It is what it is. Right? But as soon as a female flirt with you, as soon as females say something nice to you, she got a little Why? Because you're her property. You belong to her. I already made a video like a month ago or whatever, two months ago. So I'm talking about monogamy is a prison system. It is, bro. American monogamy is prison. There's nothing, there is nothing that's, that speaks love when you get into a monogamous relationship here in the United States of America. It's a prison system. Prison. You belong to her. That's what monogamy is about. It's a prison system. People come to your wedding to, to watch you get locked up. You sign you just signed your life over to this female. She has to, she's she's at mercy to do whatever she wants to do, gentlemen. This is what monogamy is, bro. It's a prison system. That female don't want you. She'll tolerate you to suck you dry like, like a damn parasite. And when she's done with you, she'll divorce your ass and go into the next sucker. That's what these women are doing out here, fellas. Do you not see, do you not, do you not recognize what the hell's going on? Oh, he belongs to me. What the hell? I keep telling you, gentlemen, you, you, you gentlemen are titans out here. She got the, she got the damn leash on your neck. You Paul, you Paul Bunyan. You got the damn, a, a big ass leash on your neck by this little ass female. That's why everybody looking at us, especially the brothers and you, uh, 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 the so-called American black man. That's why everybody else looking at you like you crazy. 
keep telling you, gentlemen, you ain't never gonna have respect from any other man on planet Earth as long as you keep attaching yourself to the so-called American black woman. All they, all they gotta do is send some little little cute chick up in there and they, gonna, they breaking up your whole party, bro. Your whole plans is screwed. You a, you a big ass titan with a big ass lease around your neck from this little ass woman. She brags to her friends, oh, that's me right there. But you thinking, oh, yeah, because she's saying that oh, for endearment. Nah, nigga, because, nah. You are a freaking pet. That's what that's what, that's what you are to her. You're a freaking pet. She brags to all her friends, hey, look look, look at my pet. Look, look, I got a pet. Look, look at them. Females don't love you. They don't respect you. Every two seconds, you trying to do something. You can't even step foot out the house without this female getting an attitude over something stupid. Gentlemen, I'm telling you, I'm speaking from experience, bro. Every time you trying to break up with this female, why, why, this female don't want to let you, let your ass go. Because you're her freaking property. You can move on to another chick. This chick gonna creep. Like, dude, this is what these females do. They just suck you dry, bro. They're a bunch of parasites, dude. Gentlemen, you need to wake up, bro. I don't care what they told you, bro. I don't care what your grandfather and your uncle. I don't, I don't care what they told you, bro. It's not get. Listen, it's not the good old days. You settling down with some girl and you having kids, bro. That's not that. that listen, yo, I love I love the, the the gentlemen of old, but listen, they some suckers, man. When it comes to these women, these gentlemen were suckers, bro. Told you guys again. Listen, yo, listen. You guys, listen, listen. I'm saying this. <laughs> Hear what I'm saying. Yo, yo, your grandfather, your ma, your oh, okay. Your grandmother did not like your. Okay, let me back up. Your grandmother didn't like your grandfather. I said this in the video before. Your grandmother did not like your grandfather. Only reason why your grandmother got with your grandfather because the one she the one she wanted, she got ran through. She got left out in the street and your grandfather was there holding out flowers for her ran through ass. That's what happened. See, this is what your elders ain't gonna tell you. This is what your granddaddy and your 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 great granddaddy and your grandfather and your, your uncles and great uncles ain't gonna tell you this. Your grandmother had to had, she was looking at Mr. Charlie. Oh, oh, Slicky Ricky. That's who she wanted. I already told y'all this. She wanted Slicky Ricky. Slicky Ricky had all the women. That's who your grandmama, that's who your grandmama and your mama and all them wanted. Your, your grandmother, your, your mama ain't want your daddy and your grandmother ain't want your grandfather. Oh, he's a nice working man. And he's a farmer, this, that, and the third. Yo, your grandmother ain't want that. Your mama ain't want that. Oh, but Slicky Ricky. Ah, cause you know back in the day, you know them, them light skin dudes with them finger waves, boy. They, they was the ish back in the day, boy. Boy, you get you, you get you a light skin man, ooh, girl. See, that's what your grandfather and them not gonna tell you. Your granddaddy ain't, see, he got too much pride. See, granddaddy, granddaddy ain't gonna tell you that he wasn't the first choice. He might have been the first, the fourth, fifth, sixth choice. Just like us today, man. You guys, you know, don't get me wrong. Listen, y'all married. Like I told you, I'm going through a separation right now, dog. And I've learned. You know, I have, you you got to go through it. I'm just letting, I'm just, I'm just trying to pass the game on to you fellas. If you think you about to get in a monogamous relationship with to, to uh, ABW or whatever Americanized woman, you think it's going to be about love. No, bro. It's about them getting whatever. Play this. The, a lot of these relationships is a money grab, gentlemen. It's a money grab grab this is what these women have been taught it's a money grab use what you have to get what you want out this dude this is why they use these slick words because it's oh oh it makes you feel all tingly inside and butterflies fellow these females ain't feeling no damn butterflies in their stomach dude when a female listen let me tell you this right now when a female meets you gentlemen she's sizing you up already She's already sizing you up. She's already looking at what your background is and what you have in your job and this, that, and the third. Gentlemen, I'm telling you from experience, bro. 
first thing, oh, mil private military, this, that, and the third. And I looked this up. I looked that up. I already, once, uh, in my mind, with my silly behind, thinking about, okay, let's travel in, let's, let's work together and do this and do that. And this female already checking out my VA loan. Oh, I, I went to the VA website. I already made the phone call. And they said, you can get you can, you can can get the VA loan. All you need is a signature. Once again, gentlemen, because my silly behind is thinking about love and she thinking about the damn bag. You fellas need to wake the hell up, bro. This is not what you think it is, bro. This is not what you think it is. I'll say this again, gentlemen. I don't care how, how cute she is. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care how, how sick her head game is. I don't care how fat her titties are and how fat her butt is. Gentlemen, this ain't what you think it is, bro. These women are really out here for the bag. You're just a bag to her. You're just a tool, bro. You guys dealing with this American monogamy, dude? You're, you're just, you're freaking Paul Bunyan, and she got the damn leash on you, bro. She bragging to her friends. This is, this is what they talk about all day. A lot of these females know they ain't itch, bro. They know they that they 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 not worthy of you. But they got you in a in a damn hypnosis. Oh, I love you. And blah blah. Man. Get that stuff out of here. These women don't love you, fellas. Women don't. They don't even like themselves. How the hell is she gonna love you, bro? Half of these women don't even like themselves. Got all types of crazy and craziness attached to them, and somehow they love themselves. Stop playing, fellas. Stop playing, fellas. So I'm saying American, American monogamy is a, is, is a is a is a death sentence. It's a trap. It's a prison. Oh, get married to that one girl. Isn't it funny that you you have to be focused on her, but she gonna focus on fifteen other niggas? Cause this is what these women do, fellas. You focusing on her while she focusing on your homeboy and your homeboy's homeboy. It's, I keep telling you, John, these women are like 10 steps ahead of you, bro. You haven't been taught this game, gentlemen. You haven't been taught this game. You haven't been taught this game. Nobody has taught you this game. I'm I'm telling you, I'm speaking from experience. I just, I'm just i coming through it right now, gentlemen. Fortunately, like I said, the female made more money than me, so I'm not, you know, I ain't tripping because, like, I mean, a lot of stuff is about to be, you know, it's about to jump off for me, but... I'm glad this stuff didn't jump off when I, you know, when I was uh, in relationship with her. Because just imagine me creating all these businesses and she ain't do nothing. All of a sudden, she then you know we get a divorce and all of a sudden she taking half my assets that I created and she ain't do. She had nothing to do with nothing. You gentlemen got you got to wise up, fellas. You got to wise up. This American monogamy nonsense is a bunch of foolishness. Right? You belong to her. Going back to what I stated earlier in that uh, in that one clip, like I said, you belong to her. She don't belong to you. She belongs to the streets. So when you when you when you uh, when they tell me so, yeah, she uh, what is that? Uh, future talking about she belongs to the streets. Yeah, but fella, she belongs to the streets. But you supposed to belong to her. See, that's how the game. That's the game that they, that, that these a lot of these women are playing out here. She, she really belongs to the streets, but you're supposed to belong to her. You're supposed to be monogamous to her, but she belongs to everybody else on the other side. And that's how these women are playing it. You sitting here being a good man and being a good loving man and doing what you're supposed to do while she, other, she on the other hand, going out here, going out there, she, get, she, she getting that work, she getting that business. This is how these women play it. See, the thing is, let me show you how the, let me show you how, how the game really works, gentlemen. Let me show you how the game works, right? So, and this is how these women play it. See, once again, this is supposed to be her world, right? This is her world, right? So, oh, Beyonce, who run the world? Girls and all that other stuff. See, this is how these women play it, right? So, they chase after the so-called alpha man. They chase after him because, believe, I'm telling you right now, gentlemen, this female is chasing after somebody. Whatever girl that you are dealing with, all that lovey-dovey stuff, gentlemen, you're just a security blanket. She's chasing somebody. I guarantee you, she is running after somebody. You have to come to us uh, 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 over or under an inner understanding about this. She's chasing somebody. The thing is, if you were moving, if you were moving with purpose and all that good stuff, 
then she'd probably be chasing you. But since you're standing still, catering to all her needs, then you're just then you're just a security blanket. That's how it goes down. You're just a security blanket. She's chasing after somebody, and that's how these women play it. So she got she got the best of both worlds. So she got the guy that's 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 gonna bring her the flowers and all this other stuff, and she got the alpha who she really wants. That's how these women play the game, gentlemen. It is is it is what it is. So the gentleman, you gotta you gotta. The, the thing is, you can't play the game. The game is not to be played. See, the thing is, I tell you, gentlemen, all the time, what is your purpose, bro? If you're in, if you're operating in purpose, then that then the females will chase after you all day. But once you stop and you get comfortable, then gentlemen, you become boring all of a sudden to this female. That's what this what happens. You become boring to her. You become. Oh, he's boring, he's this, he's that. And then she's going to go, she's going to use you up for whatever she needs, and she's going to go to the next dude. This is how these women play these games, gentlemen. This is how these women play this game. They've been playing this game for a long time, brothers. Brothers. And they get coaching from their from they mama and their grandma and their great-grandma and their great-auntie and their they big cousins. Gentlemen, these women have decades of, of this type of game spoken to them since they were a little child, bro. You gentlemen are way behind. Because your uncle and your daddy and your grandfather, great grandfather, talk about some. Oh, just you, 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 you fellas need to stop running and settle down with this good girl, nigga. This ain't no good. They, listen, there ain't no good girls out here, bro. Especially that come from the 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 American persuasion, like the females that are born here in America. I'll say it again, gentlemen. Unless she comes, unless she's in her her group, like say she came from. Ethiopia or India or something like that, unless she's with her people, that ain't the one you need to deal with. If she just out, if you just meet old girl in the club, gentlemen, leave that alone. If you just meet old girl randomly somewhere in some of this or some of that, or I'm just doing my own thing out here, gentlemen, that female is doing, she's for the streets, bro. She's been in the streets. You found her in the streets. You're not gonna take her from the streets and make her a housewife. Gentlemen, you're not gonna do that. Stop playing games with your life. Stop playing games with your finances and your resources. Get your mind right. Move, move with purpose out here, gentlemen. Stop playing these games with these females. Stop getting ran through. All this dumb stuff, gentlemen. Move with purpose. You're not her tool. You're not her, you're not her puppy, her big ass puppy dog. Her big ass puppy dog. I, I, I say it again. You are you a damn titan, and she got a damn leash around your neck. And every time she parades you around her people, oh, they, they clap, oh, girl, ooh, you thinking, you thinking, in your mind, you thinking, oh, yeah, I'm a good guy, this, that, and third. Nah, nigga, they talk, they speaking a whole different language. They speaking a whole different language that you know nothing about. You take her like, you, you ever come to her house and she got her cousins and them. Dude, they, listen, bro, they got a whole system set up that you know nothing about, bro. Women speak their own language. You gentlemen are like, I, you gentlemen are way behind, bro. These women speak their own language. They have their own terminologies. They know. Listen, they get. They got the head nods. They got the sign language, all that stuff. You, you are just oblivious. You just walking around. Uh, yeah, nah, bro. That's not what it is, man. You gentlemen need to get. You gentlemen need to go back to incognito mode. Peep the game out, man. Peep the game out. Stay focused on your purpose. Again, you don't belong to her. That's the main thing of this video. You do not belong to this female. I do not care how she looks. I do not care how cute her face is. I don't care how big her breasts are, the slim waist snatched and all that. I don't care how big her thighs, hips. I don't care how big her butt is. Gentlemen, you do not belong to any of these females. Stop playing the game, get focused, and handle your business. Make an impact. There's too many people out here suffering. You sitting there chasing Big Booty Sheila all day. Stop playing, fellas. Stop playing. Anyways, man, you guys like, share, and subscribe. Peace.